look at this beautiful river viewpoint. Finally, we're on the right track. <laughs> but also, it is just very beautiful here. Uh. First view of the first boy. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> we're here. Well, we're close. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, again, everybody. I have nothing to say. Do I really have it? Do I really need it to say anything? Check it out. I'm here, baby. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 28th of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe, and join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, I am here in El Chatan in, uh, you know, what is famously where the logo of Patagonia is, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, and again, I am very tired. I This was supposed to be a pseudo rest day, but I couldn't help myself. I did some scouting, and by that I meant I walked or hiked for about 10 miles, uh, which is apparently too much. Also, I'm trying to figure out the light, because I feel like this is like a very kind of dubious lighting. Ah, uh, well. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Uh, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look at today's poem. Uh, we'll do, I'm not going to lie again. We are going to do it real quick. Uh, this is an older poem that we have done before, so probably check that video. It's from uh, uh, last year, so it's probably, I don't know. I, I don't think I changed my style too much in the last year, so it's probably, you know, hopefully. You know, hopefully there'll be no surprises, but I don't know it, right? I, I don't remember it. I just trust my old self. Uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know. So maybe I'm wrong on here. But yeah, let's take a look and we'll go. Today we have 2872 maximum number of K divisible components. Okay. So you're given an undirected tree with N nodes. Um, you're given, you, you have some edges and you want to split them up in which... Okay. Maximum number of components in any valid split. <clears throat> I mean, I think this is kind of brute force, right? Um, you always split if there's sub or you don't always split. I guess you kind of do actually. The the key thing to notice is that um, you know, let, let's just you know, you have this is a tree, but um. Yeah, you have two trees. I mean, this is the invariant, right? Uh, I mean, you could do the splitting part, but actually, now that I think about it, you could build it the other way, right? Which is that, okay, you start with components. You think of this uh, problem as the component in which... Uh, this problem with components where each component um, has a sum divisible by k, right? And once that then all you have to think about is that when you combine them, what happens, what, what is the invariant, right? Well, the invariant is that when you combine components that, that already are divisible by k, well, the sum of them are all also divisible by k, right? So that means that if you have all these components, it doesn't... Like, you almost want to say, in a way, so there's a lot of different properties that I don't know if I'm going to articulate super, um, like... I don't know if I'm going to get it again for everything, but the idea here is that, um, and because this is a tree, I think that's the uh, one important part too, is that because it's a tree, there's only one way to split components apart within a subcomponent, right? And I mean, like, if they're only, sorry, let me rephrase that a little bit. That's not quite precise. Is that if, if there are only two components, there's only one way to split them, right? Because they're only connected in one place. So there are no choices in like, you know, uh, what, what I'm trying to say is that there are no choices as in like, you can't just say, oh, let this edge or this edge, but they cannot be both. But this is not true because they only connect in one place. And if you disconnect them two places, that means that now you have three components, right? So based on that, I think that's it, right? So that means that anytime, um, anytime the subtree is this, the sum of a subtree is divisible by k, we kill the, the the parent link, and then we just count the number of parent link that we killed, and then as a result, then we should be good. We also have to, of course, make sure that um, the entire tree is um, divisible by k, right? So that that's mo the, the, the thing that we have to do. I mean, obviously, if it doesn't, then... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. That because here you need all the components to do it. So I my my like computer keeps on like I'm charging my my computer, but then the cable is all, all tangled up. In any case, okay. So let let's do it. We have edges. So you know this is just going to be uh, adjacency list stuff. Right, let me actually adjacency list. Right. For U V in edges. Adjacency list of you append we right. This is just setting up the adjacency list things. Uh, <clears throat> values is just values, okay. Yeah, but that's fine. K is K, okay. So then that's all we need for to set up for the tree. Uh, we we need a root, but it doesn't matter. Right? We'll, we'll just use. Oh, so they, I just zero or one. To, oh yeah, it, yeah, it's zero. Okay, we we'll use zero as the root, and the reason why the root doesn't matter. Even though it's unrooted, is because um, because the invariant holds no matter what component you use, assuming that is the case, right? So here maybe we go, um, <clears throat> yeah, maybe just you know just yeah, I'm I'm trying to think about naming things, right? Uh, naming is hard, so maybe like uh, I'm just going to call it an F because I am tired and I went or not ran, but I hiked ten miles uphill today and I'm really tired, so. Um, yeah, naming things is hard. Um, and you don't even have to memorize, by the way. I know sometimes people are like, oh, why don't you just throw it in there just in case? But like, you know. Uh, yeah, and then have a node and then a parent, right? Because this is a tree. And then basically, we just want to want this function to return the sum of the, um, this node, the sum of this node and its children, right? So maybe we have total zero, zero. Um, total we added by values of node, and then for v in edges of u of node, uh, if v is not parent, so we don't go up to tree, we just add it by f of v parent, right? Oh no, f of v node, I suck. All right. So in in theory, this is basically the setup we have to do, right? So then now maybe we write total is equal to f of uh, zero negative one. If total mod k is not equal to zero, then we're just done, right? Do we return negative one or? Oh, this is always true. So I, we don't have to check that actually. Then some of the oh guys, then that makes it even easier for us. So then we don't have to do this. We don't even have to do this. We just return a global thing then, right? Uh, right. Oops. Uh, yeah. And then now, if the children, right? So then now maybe we have uh, current is equal to f of v node, right? If current is equal to uh, mod k is equal to zero, then we have non-local r, r increment by one, and then total we increment. And then that should be good, or maybe I'm off by one, but it should be good. Good idea. Uh, why? Oh, well, I don't know why what edges of no. I think I'm just too used to calling edges, and somehow it is actually the input here. Uh, okay. Uh, I put one because we killed. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I said, I I, I thought it would be off by one. Basically, because we remove one parent from his child. So you have two components, and R is just the number of things we removed. So, okay, let's give a quick spin, hoping that this will be good. Bam! Uh, not bad. Oh, by the way, happy Thanksgiving. I'm not in the States right now, so I forgot that it's Thanksgiving, but I see this Black Friday deal. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I have with this one. Oh, oh, wait, actually, let me go over to Complex 7. I mean, we are, well, it's going to be like a two-second thing. I mean, this is linear time, linear space, right? We look at every edge, and there's a tree, so number of edges is just the number of nodes, right? Plus one. Or minus one for edges. I don't know if I made that clear. Um, and then here, we just look at each edge once and each node once, so V plus E, pretty straightforward. That's all I have for this one. Linear time, linear space. Uh, let me know what you think about this one. And let, let me know what you think about uh, where I am. So yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I will see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.